I actually take this and bring it down just like this, and if I double click it, I'll make it super duper big. Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we'll be looking at an all new robot. This here is Yanchi by Ubitech, a company we've seen before that also makes the Alpha 1 Pro, as well as a variety of other cool looking robots, including the Yuga that we recently reviewed. Now this here is something I'm a little bit excited about. This here is Yanchi, an educational robot that's comparable to now and some of the higher educational platforms for a college, and particularly this one here, goes all the way from K to 12 and even beyond that. Now, it's really up to you on what you want to do with it, but for us, today, we'll be showcasing what it's all about, as well as showing some of the different features, including the sensors, and as well as how to go ahead and just use it, basically. All right, now looking at this thing, obviously looking up in person is pretty cool. However, I can actually take this and bring it down just like this, and if I double click it, I'll make it super duper big. Now I can go ahead and rotate this and just looking at this thing up close, man, this is absolutely great. Now they have a variety of different sensor ports where you can go ahead and attach different sensor outputs uh, for like tracking purposes and being able to go ahead and use it in terms of your educational aspect. Your power button here is gonna be on the front, you have your speakers on the side, and then you also have your emergency stop button on the top. There's also an HDMI port, and then also on the back side, you'll have a few different ports as well. And again, kind of up to you on what you want to do with it. And just looking at it, I have to say, it is absolutely mind blowing. Now, obviously, this here is the real deal, but again, kind of up to you in terms of how you want to take it. Now, today we'll be unboxing it as well as showcasing some of the basic features behind it, uh, in which, if you guys want to learn more about them, check out the link down below in the description. And without further ado, well, let's go ahead and get started. So check it out, so this is the packaging. Uh, pretty cool, let's open it up. So it actually comes in a, its own little suitcase and it has that really cool like blue color and housing a Chrome version of the UB Tech logo. A few different things going on off the back. There's a lot of different accessories. Wow, let's take this guy out. So I would definitely say it's quite identical in the size of Alpha. Uh, a lot more sturdier, a lot more heavier. So I do see that it does come with its own little screwdriver. And then over here we have some extra screws, extra wires and cables. Our user manual is an HDMI port, pretty cool. Uh, we have a mic indicator, a mic port, a USB port, port as well. That's going to be on the bottom side right over here. GPIO extender port as well, which is also on the bottom. We have sensor ports throughout. Uh, we have our dual speaker, our power indicator, which is on the back, and our charging jack, which is also on the back side as well. To install the battery, it's going to be on the side part right over here. Let's go ahead and lift the arm up just like this, and then the battery will actually slide right in there. And then on the bottom side here, we're going to have our battery pack, which is this guy right over here. And then over here, we have our additional adapters based on wherever you are in case of charging it wise. There's going to be our power adapter, the use the pong based on whatever country you're in. Try turning them on. So hold the on button here. All right, so our robot is officially on. So it says, explore the world with robot, Yanshi. So we have a few different things going on here. We have a control mode, a blocky mode, a PRP, sensor, and discover. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is connect to our robot. So the top right here, it's on. And now we're searching for a device. Click on Yanchi. Yanchi is ready for action. All right, Yanchi is ready for action. Okay, we're officially connected. So this here is our main hub, our control, blocky, PRP, sensor, and discover. Clicking control. Uh, you can use this as an actual RC mode, so I can control the robot. Let's see if it moves forward. Oh, it's got a very interesting gait. Look at that. Pretty quick for a robot. You have a rotate, you can do different actions. So these are some action demonstrations. So this is sweet and sour. Robot's got some dance moves. Oh, my God. 
watching a robot do this in a long time. <laughs> And a little bow at the end. So yeah, there's actually quite a few different actions in here as you can already see. Uh, but yeah, this is actually pretty cool. Now, they also have role play, so these are different actions. There's like fighting moves, so you have like a punch, like that, you know, just typical stuff there. Uh, this here I think is an upper, or side, side punch there. Uh, we got some boxing moves. Oh, that's like a little, little jab. And this like a celebrate. All right, and then we have a push. This is a soccer kick, boom. <laughs> and then uh, we have like a side block. So yeah, that, that's actually kind of cool too. So they have fighter and football player, and then you have your user defined. Back, I can check out some of the other modes. So you have blocky. Blocky is like your if then, you know, start, drag and drop logic. So we can create our own action here. So like a logic, so first thing I'll do is I'll hit delay by one second, uh, move our head left, and then move forward for two, sec two steps, and then step one at one speed. And I can change the speed too, like very, very fast. Uh, let's do three, four steps at very, very fast. Let's try this out. So delay. Move head to the left, and then move forward for four steps very fast. Just like that. So that's cool. So you can go ahead and create your own animations and then hit save. Uh, and then in terms of all these different logics go here, you can technically customize it with the different sensors and go based off of that on what you're using it. And then you can save it in there and use it later in terms of control goals. Now PRP, uh, these are actions. So you can technically uh, add your own template. So if I click this and hit add, uh, it'll add them just like that. And if I hit plus, um, I have auto record or manual record. So if I click on like this joint here, I can rotate it based on whichever way I want it and hit back. I can go ahead and create my own animations and essentially teach it like a puppeteer mode. And if I preview, it'll go ahead and showcase the animation. Well, I use a default one there, but kind of neat that you can technically program it like this. Uh, and that's one thing I love about the UB Tech software is that it's super duper easy to use. Now, I can save it and then this will become a user defined input. So I'll call it hi and hit return and hit save. And now if I go into control under user defined, I can see these actions and play them later. So that's kind of nice that it does give you that capability. Uh, Aside that, um, I can edit, I can add an audio, um, I can set different variations and then under sensors here, uh, you can see motion sensor. So this here will kind of calibrate itself. So it's telling me to rotate it. So from there you can use this and you can also do external sensors. Uh, so you place the sensors on the specific sensor ports and then you can calibrate those and use them in terms of being programming the robot. Centralized control. So this will let me control multiple robots or essentially uh, have them all do a certain action or different things at once. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's kind of cool that you can technically manage more than one robot at a time. So in terms of educating like a class goes, it makes a lot more sense. 
So that is that in a nutshell. Overall, a pretty cool robot. Uh, I love the app uh, connectivity of it. Obviously, there's a lot of different things that you could do with this particular robot, besides using it for, obviously, entertainment purposes. But you have the programming aspect, and then, obviously, you can connect to it and uh, you know control it via a computer. Uh, you could program it, do different things. Uh, there's even motion control, too. So you can even have it kind of mimic you in terms of movement goes. There's a video of that. So it is actually a great platform for starting uh, and there's a variation of different uh, steps that you can use to go ahead and learn it now obviously this is more or less an introduction to this robot but hands down definitely a great product uh, especially from UB Tech, a great quality company uh, this here is an overall a really nice robot for any collector as well as educator out there now with that said if you guys have any questions about Yanchi feel free to comment down below otherwise we'll see you in the next episode take care now bye bye